What if I warmed up like I was Adele or something? <laughs> All clear. Hey, what's up, Internet? My name is John Bromit, and welcome to Monoline Illustration. In this class, I'm going to be showing you how I create unique, modern, and minimalistic monoline illustrations. This illustration style is really useful for a wide variety of different applications, including things like logo design, because it's really easy to use the vector artwork and blow it up onto things like billboards, or also shrink it down so it's on things like invoices, letterheads, on an embroidered shirt. It really, the sky's the limit when it comes to this kind of style, which is, makes it really useful for you to learn how to do. I think what I love most about monoline illustration is it allows me to really control where I put my lines and where I put my curves, and lets me go outside of having to worry about it being perfectly realistic, and it's a little more stylized, and it's easier for me to make it more unique to me, and make the logo more unique for a client, if that's what you're using it for. Of course, this illustration style doesn't have to just be used for logo design. It's really great for just fun illustrations. It's good for editorial. It's good for basically anything you could illustrate for. In this class, I'm going to be showing you how to illustrate a cat, a monster, and a skull. You can pick one of those three or do all three, and I'm going to show you my process from creating the ideas to sketching them to putting them in Adobe Illustrator and creating perfect vector artwork. This class is designed to be educational for all skill levels, although I've aimed it a little more towards the intermediate. I think that beginners will be able to follow along too though because when we're actually using Adobe Illustrator, we're really only using a couple tools. So it should be easy for you to follow if you're a first time user of Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's get into the class. I hope you check it out. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey. No, don't come over here. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, ah. Uh, now I gotta take the fluffs on my shirt again.